So I'm here today to address one of the most commonly asked questions that I get on my channel, and that is Char Griller Gravity 980 or Master Built Gravity Series. I have run dozens and dozens of cooks on both of these grills, so I have plenty of experience with them, and I'm here today to tell you the pros and cons of both, and I'm gonna pick one over the other. Now let's get into it. So when it comes to gravity smokers, the first one on the market in terms of a consumer ready was the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. It was probably one of the biggest splashes in the smoker pool just a couple summers ago. Fast forward a year later and the Char Griller Gravity 980 came out. And this was the direct competition to the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. Now when it comes to the Char Griller, they built a bigger and what they say a better option in the Gravity Series world. Now Masterbuilt here is on their third summer and essentially they've had three years to perfect everything within their manufacturing, within their product itself. And so there have been some enhancements. So today we're gonna talk about these. But first off, we're gonna talk about price. They are basically all very closely. So the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800 comes in at $700 and 800 square inches. The Char Griller Gravity 980 comes in at $750 and at 980 square inches. Now the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 1050, which you don't see here today, is $800 and comes in at 1,050 square inches. And as you can see, as the price increases, so does the square inches. But one of the things about the square inches of these grills that you might not understand is that they are a bit deceiving. When it comes to the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800, it has a three rack configuration and all three racks combined total 800 square inches. But the main cooking surface, the cast iron grates are only about 400 square inches. So we bump up to the Char Griller Gravity 980. Same thing, 980 square inches, but it's amongst two racks. The bottom main cooking surface is 680 square inches. When it comes to the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 1050, that is 1,050 square inches, but the main cooking surface itself is roughly 500 square inches, and the rest of the 550 come from the second and third shelf, which it's a deceiving feature on all of them. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the racks. When it comes to the Char Griller Gravity 980, you have about 300 square inches of cooking surface on that upper rack. The problem with that is the distance in between these racks. When you have that rack in place, it renders the back half of the main surface almost useless as you've only got inches in between and you have to reach through there to try to get your food. It's honestly in the way and the majority of the time I'm cooking on this, it's not even in the grill. When it comes to the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800, it's basically the same thing, except they put a little bit more space in between the main cooking surface and that middle shelf. But to be honest with you, unless I've got a lot of little small things or I'm cooking burgers or sausages, something that I might need to get away from the fire, I run this most of the time without the second and third shelf. And I would assume if I had the 1050, I would be doing exactly the same thing because it's just scaled slightly larger than the 800. Now, in 2022, the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 1050 added the foldable front shelf. So now these are all on equal playing fields. But when it comes to that foldable front shelf, the problem that I have with both of these grills is the space in between the shelf and the handle. If I have a cutting board with food on it and I try and open the grill or set something down, I can't even put it there without hitting the handle. It's the same thing if I've got a foil pan that I'm gonna be collecting things off the grill. With the handle in the way, I can't even get a foil pan underneath it and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So truthfully, if I was any either of these companies, I would drop that shelf about three inches. Yes, is it a little bit lower? Yeah, it's not a problem, but at least I have more of a usable space and I can actually set something on those shelves. So when it comes to function, these function almost exactly the same. They are gravity fed grills and smokers. They all have 16 pound hoppers. You have to use a fire starter to light them. They have an ash clean out and they're all built fairly well. But I will say the master built gravity series 800 and 1050 have a leg up on the char griller gravity 980. And I'm gonna tell you why this grill is sturdy. It's sturdy, the legs are sturdy, the way the shelves connected is sturdy, and there's no fear in my mind about moving this thing around, going over the lip of my garage floor, or anything like that. 
The Char Griller Gravity 980 itself is a beast. And I'm gonna tell you what, this thing is heavy. Moving this thing around can be a little difficult and it's it does have caster wheels, it does have decent sized wheels in the back. But I'm gonna show you one thing that I caught on to immediately when I started using this Char Griller. I'm gonna take one finger here and push that grill. It is not the sturdiest. Just that little bit of pressure from one finger and the whole thing wobbles. If I do that to the, the master belt, I mean, it's, it's rocking on the casters. This is actually twisting and bowing the legs like this. And I'm gonna tell you, I would be afraid if I had to move this constantly, which is something that I do because I keep all of my grills in the garage. Over time, I'm afraid that I might actually break something loose. I mean, look at that. So when it comes to construction, I'm going to give it to the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. Plus, you've got the stainless steel accessories, the shelves, and you also have the cast iron grates, which I think are a better addition than the porcelain coated. When it comes to temperature and control, there are a few differences between the Masterbuilt and the Char Griller smokers. The Masterbuilt runs from 150 to 700 degrees. You can smoke at those low temperatures, which is something that means a lot to me because I like to smoke salmon around the 160 degree territory, whereas the Char Griller only goes as low as 200 degrees. Now all of these grills go up to 700 as their max temperature. But that brings up a good topic about the Char Griller Gravity 980. Running this initially, I was extremely confused because food was taking way longer than it should have. So I talked to Char Griller and I found out a very valuable piece of information about the Char Griller Gravity 980's controller. It is essentially compensating for the temperature differences and it's looking exactly at the center. So what happens is when you go to turn this thing on and you set a temperature for 225 degrees, it is not going to be 225 degrees in the grill until it reaches equilibrium. So one of the things that I've had to do is, especially when temperature was critical, was get this thing started like 45 minutes to an hour in advance, letting all of the surfaces inside get hot to where it's finally reaching those set point temperatures throughout the grill. I have not experienced the same thing with the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. And to be honest with you, the 800 since I've had it has ran very well. Doing the biscuit test on both of these, the Masterbuilt Gravity Series is going to win it when it comes to temperature control. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. They both make great food. But in my honest opinion, if you're looking at one of these grills over the other, Masterbelt has a longer track record when it comes to the Gravity Series. They've had more time to perfect their product than Char Griller has themselves. And to be honest with you, the sturdiness of this versus this is enough for me to choose the Masterbuilt over the Char Griller. Then you add in the temperature differences and having the ability to run it as low as 150 degrees, I think is a selling point for me. Now, if you've got one or the other, I'm not bashing your decision because I have both and I've loved working with both of them. The Char Griller itself has a bigger main cooking surface. And I think when it comes to large scale cooks, Char Griller every day of the week. It's got literally 280 square inches of main cooking surface more than the master boat and at least 180 square inches on the main cooking surface more than the 1050. When it comes to the racks, that second rack and the second and third, they're all useless to me. Unless I'm cooking something, I have to get up off the main surface to get it away from the heat, it's useless. And most of the time it's in the way, so I take them out completely. The foldable front shelves are great. If they dropped them down three, four inches or so, it'd give you more room to get something underneath the handle. I think that would be a big plus. But overall, they're both great grills. They both make great food, and I'm not gonna deny that. But if I'm going to choose one over the other, it's going to be the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800 or 1050. And it's simply because I think the construction is better, I think the materials are better, and the temperature control itself is better, especially having that wider range and those low temperatures. For me, it's the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. If you'd like more videos on these topics, be sure to reach out. I also do have a pretty large library on both of these grills and similar topics. So be sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show.